sense. Um, you are a coach. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit um, about you know your coaching practice? Thank you for asking. So I have about 18 people in my coaching practice, ranging from uh, CFOs of a technology of a industrial company. Uh, have a couple of project managers for uh, uh, more biotechnical com company. And I have pastors right in it. So it's a big range of people, of uh, uh, people with different incomes, different um, skills. And the good news is it doesn't really matter to me what someone, uh, what their profession is. I have an interest and a passion for it, right? So the, some of the same skills of asking questions, digging down deep into uh, conversations, getting things out of people. I really believe, well, that the answers are within the people, right? They just need some time and some space and opportunity to talk about those things. Yeah. So, um, and that that's actually interesting. Um, uh, and I, I, I wasn't aware that, you know, your, your clients ran the gamut. So, um, you know, I've often, you know, you hear of executive coaches, right? So people mm -hmm. who like coach executives um, to help them, you know, uh, you know, navigate, you know, the landscape, uh, you know, that, that they must. Um, but for those who maybe are not, not executives yet, um, or, or, you know, I say yet, uh, mm -hmm. what, what's the, you know, what are the objectives, you know, when they enter into this coaching relationship with you, is it to get there to, to become uh, an executive eventually, or is it, you explain that. Yeah. So it really depends on what their goals are. Right. I like to say that I like to work with people who have, the, if they had a little bit of disappointment and failure, they, they come to a point where they want to do something different. They try different things. Mm -hmm. Then okay. they come to me and then we, we figure out their objectives. We have a couple of different ways of doing that. We, I, one of my best programs, well, is a 360 degree feedback program. So mm -hmm. probably have done this with, with the other organizations. So I send a yeah. survey out, uh, get, get it from uh, uh, the gamut of people that their clients, their, their direct reports, their supervisors, get the feedback and then do a customized summary of that feedback. And then we set goals and a development action plan around that feedback. We, we take the, that tool and then we, we acknowledge the feedback and put, come up with a plan. And then we tell the organization what the plan will be. And then we go through some coaching for that, right? So that's the best program I've had and seen some very good results from that. Uh, HR person I work with out of a company out West, you know, we just dug into the feedback that she received, dug into the things that she was facing in real time, mm -hmm. put a program together for like six months and had, now they're, they, they've grown their career. And uh, I use a couple other tools in that process as well to get that. Uh, one thing that we do uh, is uh, uh, we do the feedback and get an outside perspective of what others think about the leadership styles. Then I have a couple of the surveys that I use to get an inside perspective of what they think of their leadership style. And then I have them write a letter to their future self, right? Mm -hmm. um, you might've seen this type of exercise where you write your obituary, which is a little bit morbid, but they write a letter yeah, to their future yeah. self. Yeah, you know, but they write a letter to the future self and there's certain things I wanna see from the letter, like what you mm -hmm. wanna call yourself in three to five years, uh, mm -hmm. what your specific accomplishments want to read it three to five years. And, and, and we use that as a background to get their thoughts together, their objects together, the things you're trying to do. So yeah, uh, just no, that, that, yeah, that, that's awesome. Um, uh, and I can see how that, that would be effective. Um, and I've, I've had the unfortunate or the misfortune of having to write that obituary uh, yeah. before. Um, I think the first time was, was back in the nineties. I was still an undergrad, but, um, <laughs> but it gets you thinking. So I, I get it. it does. Um, same you mentioned, um, yeah, I'm sorry. You mentioned, I think it sounded like you mentioned some interaction with the organizations that these people work for. Uh, do you find that that the organizations are receptive and are willing to engage or that they view this as something aside from what they do as a business? No, you know, they have been very willing to, to engage. This one organization I work with, this, uh, I guess, a mid-sized, uh, well, probably large uh, industrial organization, with in, they, they brought me in like this. They brought me in to, to coach a couple of their interns. So, so people who are new interns, just coming into the organization full-time, just finished school. And then they said, okay, you did a pretty good job with that. Let's give you a couple people in our HR department. So they gave me a couple people in the HR department. So an HR director or a manager level. Then they were like, okay, 
let's try you with a couple of engineers. So then they tried me with a couple of their engineers. And then finally, they've moved me to a couple of project managers and buyers. So it's been a growth in the organization. Then they said, hey, uh, and it's interesting because I am African-American. Uh, and uh, they said, you know, really? <laughs> I know, right? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just a little. And, um, right. and uh, so they said, you know, we really, we have, we have a lot of people of color in our, 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 our organization, mm. our frontline workers, but we don't have many managers. We need to talk to someone about inclusion and diversity. So would you talk to us? So I did a couple of mastermind groups with, with, with their HR department, some of their leadership on inclusion and diversity. And now I'm about to do a big presentation with about 150 of their leaders on um, unconscious bias, right? Because there's a big, and, and there's, a, there's a big need, a big desire to know more about how to, um, how to relate to people of color, right? And yeah. the opportunity being left on the table. So I've seen a big engagement with that with other companies. Um, so th there's kind of that way of growing this organization. Also a future of coaching is more group coaching, right? Mm -hmm. Taking a book or taking a subject and then doing a series of coaching sessions with a group of three or four or five more of people. Um, uh, I find that to be something that I've been able to do with groups as well. Yeah, no, that, that's a uh, that's pretty exciting. Um, yeah. and, and I actually like the way you know that that you can kind of like go in and like you know find yourself like moving up the value chain in an organization. Um, you know, very cool. So. Um,